hard I just try to get the ball back as, as soon as the opposition wins it but also trying to be disciplined and um, I don't waste the ball when I have the ball um, so I pretty much describe myself as someone who can uh, keep the ball when needed and keep things taking over and work hard out of, out of uh, possession and try his best for the, for the team. Because I'm so small and normally I'm one of the smallest on the pitch normally um, so obviously I have to be aggressive and I have to use all the attributes I can use to try get the better the, the player I'm playing against and I try move the ball quick because I'm not as big or as strong as most of the players I play against and now with possession I have to be aggressive and I have to make sure I tackle and show that I am committed. I signed for Arsenal when I was 16 and then um, signed professional for Arsenal when I was 17 so um, I was there for four years. Proudest moment was probably making my debut for Arsenal, um, playing in the Scottish Cup final, and that result the other night isn't isn't far off. That's definitely in my top three. It's an unbelievable achievement. First played for the uh, Ireland under 14s and then played all the way up to under 21s, um, which I was quite fortunate. They won, unfortunately, I haven't got a full cap. Um, Probably in fairness, haven't haven't deserved one uh, the, at the moment anyway. But um, you never know. You work hard, and who knows? Life is funny if you just keep working away. I'm not saying I will play for Ireland, not at all. But you never know what's round the corner if you work hard and you have a good season. You never know, and that's my goal: is to have a good season and to do as well as I can for myself and for the team. So we had these boards put in in the summer from um, Tommy Campbell and Joma, um, just sort of trying to be a little bit of inspiration before we head out onto the park. Coming along, just more pictures from last season, Ando and Tad celebrating. Ando, another one who's done unbelievably well for St Johnston and should be proud of himself. And for me, the best goalkeeper in Scotland, Alan Manis. Um, I'm probably our best player in my eyes. Well, one of our best players. And then we come down into the tunnel where then um, you start getting the nerves before the game. And uh, there's Fraz, um, our centre back, our, our main centre back who wins all the headers and kicks everyone, the enforcer. And then me scoring against Tibbs, which was a great night. And um, one of my good friends in football, uh, Ron Vine, who Again, unfortunately, has left us and gone to Hibs, probably slagging me or saying something to me. I don't know what he's saying. To be fair, that was one of the best team performances of the season last year. Fortunately, um, I popped up with a goal, uh, a very good team goal. I just happened to sort of make a, a toward man run and the pass was a very good pass to me and then I just happened to finish it. So it was a, no, it was a, a good night, that was a great night. Obviously, I played for Hibs as well and it's nice to score against one of your old teams, although I want Hibs to do well like any team that I've played for, I, I support every team I've played for, so it was still nice to score against them though. I think finishing tour in the league and being the tour best team in the country for for last season is an unbelievable achievement, considering, well, I don't know uh, the other team's budgets, but I'd say Ayers wouldn't be in the top five in the league anyway, so 
it was a, a great achievement and just a testimony to the lads and all the staff, the people who were involved in the club, everyone really, just to get toward place and to show the desire week in, week out to play for the football club. Last season, you know, um, it was through a friend of mine, Martin Reilly, who is Paddy's agent that we got Paddy in. And he came in last season. Uh, you know, he'd, he'd had a bad time down at Bury, and uh, he'd done very well in pre-season for us. And we and we signed him. Uh, it took a wee while at the end of the season uh, to get him re-signed, uh, and, and that that was you know just a uh, there wasn't nothing anything that anybody could do about it. it just took one or two weeks uh, no longer. So we always knew he was going to sign, but. Uh, we were delighted when he when he did resign. So he's come back again. He's someone that he's come back and he's worked really hard at his fitness over over the close season. He's uh, you know he's a lot trimmer. He's a lot fitter, uh, a lot more mobile as well. I think because of that, and uh, he's done really well. He's uh, he's a good footballer. He keeps the ball. He, he's one who's comfortable. He, he'll always want the ball. Uh, and, but I think he's, with the improvement in his fitness, I think we'll see Paddy play an even bigger part this season. And, and I'm hoping he's going to even have you know, a better season than what he did have last season, because he did contribute a lot to the success the club had had. Yeah, it was a ma massive win for us, but again, it only means something if we go through, or if we get something. Well, that's the way I'm looking at it anyway. It was still, it was a good night. Obviously, you got the great personal satisfaction um, after the game of thinking, bleeding hell, we were complete underdogs to come over here and do that's a great achievement. But it'll be a great achievement if we go through on Thursday and the feeling after the game will be, you won't be able to describe it, it'll be a great emotion. I, I'm really looking forward to the game, but obviously apprehensive as well. Same as I was going over there, um, was buzzing for the game, but apprehensive as well, which I think is good to have like a happy medium to be excited, and then to be a little bit apprehensive. But you have the thing in the back of your head of telling yourself, well, all I can do is work hard, and you practice every day and. You've been in situations since you were a 16 year old boy or whatever when you first started playing professional football or 17, whatever age it is, um, to cope with moments where you need to cope with and you need to stand up and be counted. And Thursday night's going to be one of them nights, whether it's off the ball or on the ball. I think on nights like hopefully Thursday's going to be, they will be very noisy and everyone's going to get behind the team because. It's beneficial to everyone. It's it's good for the town. It's good for the the country as well. Like to for teams to do well. It's not only just hopefully Celtic go through and hopefully Hibs do well as well. Hopefully they can turn it around. But for a, a club like St Johnston, it's, it's massive and it, it proves that like we hard work. Um, you can you you can achieve things. But again. It, it's, it'll be in vain if we don't win on towards there, get a result. There's no point in going into the game thinking, oh, Blade Nell, we could get it down here because we beat them over there. And we're a ver very hard team to come here and beat us, as Celtic found out last season as well. We played them twice here last season, I think, and beat them and drew with them. And, and hopefully. Rosenborg will see on tours, they know that we're not like an easy team to come and play against and we're going to give them a hard game and we're going to get in their faces and we're going to show that we're good on the ball as well. The sort of player that I am, I'm never going to be a player that's going to score 10, 15 goals a season. So there's no point in me sitting here and saying my goal is to get 10 goals in a season. It's not because my game is about working hard off the ball and using the ball well and giving it to players and getting the ball back and trying to create space for others as well as myself. That's that's my game and I want to be as good as anyone in the league at that and I believe uh, I can be.